This video is just going to demonstrate how you could go about completing your poetry assignment. Um, first of all, I do have visual prompts posted to Google Classroom, so I think the easiest way to go about doing this project is to look at these images, choose one, and then write a short poem actually describing one of those images. Um, there's several things you need to make sure that you do, so you need to use at least two similes, at least two metaphors, um, it has to be at least 12 lines long, um, it has to have a consistent rhyme scheme, one example of internal rhyme, and one example of slant rhyme. Okay, so I know that seems like a lot, but um, as I get going, hopefully you see that this isn't too um, overwhelming. <clears throat> so let's say I had a mountain, a picture of mountains, and that's what I was describing. Um, and this poem will not be great, and yours likely won't be great either. Um, you are not being graded on the quality of your poem. You're just being graded on whether or not you can use these different um, literary techniques. Okay. So, um, the land is as cold as... Um, it can be just really corny. The land is as cold as ice. Okay, and... This is as cold as ice, so the land is being compared to ice. So this would be my first um, simile. So I would highlight that green. You can always do that part at the end, but I just like to do that to make sure that I'm um, going to be okay. Um, the land is as cold as ice, and the air um, is thin. Okay. Um, I feel like ice is going to end up with kind of a corny rhyme, so I'm not going to rhyme this line. You don't have to rhyme every single line. It just has to be consistent, so I'm going to do an A, B, C, B rhyme. Um, the air is thin. Eagles soar overhead. Um, and make me um, feel fear within. I don't know. Okay, so I have my first one done. I have A, B, C, B, so I better do that same thing for my other um, stanzas. Okay, I have one simile taken care of, um, and I don't have anything else, so I better start working on those. Okay. Um, maybe I can rhyme snow, so maybe I can do my internal rhyme now. So, um, the land, uh, I already said the land. Um, the ground covered in snow, going far below, down and below. I don't know. So here I have my internal rhyme, so I would highlight that. So I have snow um, rhyming with below. I, whoops, I'm still highlighted. Um, and now, since I haven't used any metaphors yet, maybe I should do that. So, um, my hands are, I want to say that they're going numb, so I would have to think through what actually would represent numbness. Um, so my hands are um, full of Novocaine. Okay, so that would be my metaphor. I like the whole line if I want it. Um, okay, and now I don't have to rhyme below. Or in fact, I shouldn't rhyme below in my third line, but I will have to rhyme Novocaine once I get down to the next line. Um, I, whoops, I have to keep on checking the highlighting. I beat my hands against my chest wake them up. Um, and maybe I can do a slant rhyme here. So we have Novocaine. Um, so maybe instead of having an A-N-E sound at the end, I can have an A-M-E. Um, so um, I beat my hands against my chest. My mind um, falls away and starts to grow lame. So lame is a slant rhyme with Novocaine. So just to emphasize, I would maybe do that. Okay. So now I have one metaphor, one simile. Um, 
I have a consistent rhyme scheme that I'm following, A, B, C, B, same thing here, B, D, E, uh, F, E. Okay, I was just interrupted, so I'm sorry if this video is a little um, off right now. But anyway, um, what I still need to do is um, include one more simile and one more metaphor, so that's going to be my goal for my last four lines. Okay, um, so maybe I can describe my feet. Okay, and this poem doesn't have to be amazing. It doesn't even have to be that consistent. Um, so my feet, maybe I want to say that they're like strange to me or something. So my feet are um, strangers. Let's just leave it at that. Okay, you don't have to be too fancy with this. My feet are strangers. Um, so I would highlight that. That's my metaphor. And maybe I want to extend it so I can use a simile here too. So my fear strangers. Um, this is going to be personification too, but we haven't talked about that yet. Um, they stare up at me like they blame me. Okay, so like they blame me. This would be my simile. Okay, so now I have my internal rhyme. I have my um, slant rhyme, I have my metaphors, I have my similes, but I'm not quite done. I have to make sure I still follow this rhyme scheme, so I still have to um, come up with a third line and then rhyme with me at the end to follow my same rhyme scheme I had before. So, um, I, again, this doesn't have to be great. I do not blame them. Um, I have to rhyme with me, so um, let's do another slant rhyme. Um, so instead of me, I'll uh, I'll do believe. It's a slant rhyme, but it still counts. Um, I do not blame them. Um, our survival will be hard to believe. I don't know. It's not amazing. Um, I followed all of the requirements. You don't even have to give this a title if you don't want. You could just write um, untitled at the top. Um, but this shows all the requirements. So I have a simile. I have, uh, or I have two similes. I have two metaphors. I have actually two slant rhymes. You could highlight both. I could highlight both. Um, I have a consistent rhyme scheme, so ice rhyme, or sorry, thin rhymes with within, cane rhymes with lame, and then me rhymes with believe, and those are slant rhymes there. Um, and that is it. So hopefully this is helpful. Um, you don't have to watch this video, obviously, um, but if you did, I hope that this was helpful so you could see kind of the process behind this. Okay, um, so good luck with your own poem. If you get stuck, let me know and I can help you brainstorm some ideas.